dear students in this uh, video i explain uh, two useful integral for comparison and solve some problems using that comparison test and these two improper uh, important thing integral for comparison what does comparison test says if fx and phi x are both positive and uh, limit fx by phi x as x tends to a is l which is not equal to zero not infinite not infinite then integral a to b f of x dx and a to b pi of x dx they are alike either both converge or both do not converge this is very useful test for comparison now what is a useful integral a useful integral for comparison for comparison first is integral a to b dx by x minus a is to n converges converges if and only n is less than 1 n is less than 1 now see why it is improper it is improper because if n is less than or equal to 0 it becomes proper it is proper less than or equal to 0 because when equal to 0 it becomes 1 and less than 0 it goes to numerator so a is not a point of discontinuity when n is positive greater than 0 this becomes improper and a becomes the point of discontinuity now first take n is not equal to 1 then consider a plus x is to be f of x dx means dx by x minus a is to n it is how to integrate Suppose n is not equal to one. There are two cases. N is one. N is not equal to one. N not equal to one. It is x minus a is to minus n plus one upon minus n plus one. And what is the limit? A plus a zero to b. Now we take a plus a zero to b because if epsilon tends to zero, this limit exists. Then we say that it converges at a. So it is. One upon one minus n and uh, x minus a is to. So I take one upon x minus a is to n minus one from a plus x is equal to b. So one upon one minus n is it correct? One upon one minus n, one upon x minus a is to n minus one. Yes, it is. First take b. Upper limit is b here. One upon b minus a raised to n minus one minus one upon substitute x is a plus epsilon. You get epsilon raised to n minus one. Now this becomes this becomes zero or it becomes not zero. It becomes one upon one minus n into one upon b minus a raised to n minus one when n is less than one. n is less than 1 and when uh, n is greater than 1 because when n is less than 1 this goes to numerator this is uh, there is no problem because it, it is independent of epsilon and we have to take limit epsilon tends to zero now when uh, n is less than 1 this goes to numerator and uh, epsilon tends to zero it becomes zero so This becomes one upon one minus n to this. When n is greater than one, see what happens? It remains in the denominator, and it becomes minus infinity. Therefore, a to b dx by x minus a raised to n uh, converges when n is less than one. And we have to take the case when n is equal to one. When n is equal to one, a plus epsilon to b 
dx by x minus a raised to n becomes dx by x minus a on a to a plus epsilon into b dx by x minus a when n is equal to 1. What is the integration? Log of x minus a from a plus epsilon to b. So it is log of b minus a minus of log of epsilon. And you have to take limit as epsilon test to 0 because if limit of this as epsilon test to 0 exists, then the integral converges. So it tends to infinity when epsilon tends to 0. So when n is equal to 1 or n is greater than 1, it doesn't converge. n is equal to 1, n greater than 1, it doesn't converge. Only when n is equal to 1, this integral converges. This is a useful integral and you can see when uh, solving problems, we use this one. Another is a to b dx by b minus x raised to n and it converges, this also converges when n is less than 1. Proof is exactly similar. Here only thing is point of discontinuity is b here. It converges at right end. Previous one converges at left end. When converges? When n less than 1. Now, I explain by taking examples uh, how this test can be used. These two integrals can be used. Problems are test the convergence of test the convergence of first one integral 0 to 1 dx by x raised to half 1 plus x square integral 0 to 1 dx by x square 1 plus x whole square 1 plus x whole square 0 to 1 dx upon x raised to half 1 plus or 1 minus x raised to 1 by 3 x raised to 1 by 3 1 minus x raised to 1 by 3 now I explain how to apply this comparison test and the integral these two integrals first one here 0 is the only point of only point of infinite discontinuity infinite discontinuity because when x is 0 this function is unbounded now how to apply the test let fx is 1 upon x raised to half 1 plus x square and phi x is 1 upon x square 1 upon x raised to half how to take phi x phi x you have to take phi x so that limit fx by phi x if possible it must be finite as x tends to 0 and the behavior of phi x is known at x equal to 0 so we have to take phi x by this now take limit fx by phi x as x tends to 0 it is limit x tends to 0 of fx by phi x 1 upon x raised to half 1 plus x square 1 plus x square 1 upon x raised to half so what is this limit x tends to 0 of 1 upon 1 plus x square it is what is this 1 correct right? when x tends to 0 it is 1 now what does this says it is finite and not 0 not 0 the conclusion of the comparison test is if it is finite limit is finite and not 0 then 0 to 1 fx dx and 0 to 1 phi x dx phi x dx they behave alike means either both converge or do not converge but behavior of this is known but integral 0 to 1 dx by x raised to half converges how to say it converges because n is less than 1 now compare this way a to b dx by x minus a raised to n 
is it of this form a to be dx by x minus a raised to n form yes because a is zero here one upon x minus zero raised to half and uh, n is half here therefore by this uh, useful integral we have already proved this one by this it converges therefore by comparison test 0 to 1 fx dx what is fx 0 to 1 dx by x raised to half fx 1 plus x square converges converges this is how we can apply the comparison test and make use of that two integrals I explain the second one also what is the point of discontinuity here again 0 is the point of discontinuity so fx is we take 1 upon x square into 1 plus 6 whole square and take pi x as 1 upon x square what is next thing use comparison test for that you have to calculate limit fx by pi x x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 what is fx by pi x 1 upon x square 1 plus x whole square divided by 1 upon x square so it is limit x tends to 0 1 upon 1 plus x is it whole square yes whole square take the limit what do you get 1 now since it is neither 0 nor infinite neither 0 nor infinite this limit is neither 0 nor infinite therefore integral 0 to 1 fx dx and 0 to 1 pi x dx are alike either both converge or do not converge that is a comparison test but we know the behavior of pi x dx 0 to 1 pi x dx is 0 to 1 dx by x square whether it converge or diverge does not converge why it does not converge it does not converge because n is greater than 1 only when n less than 1 it converges and it is also of the form g, a to b dx by x minus a raised to n form it is because n a is 0 here a is 0 now this uh, pi x converges therefore integral 0 to 1 dx by pi x converge here no does not convert therefore x square 1 plus x whole square does not converge does not converge similarly you can solve this one here it converges because x raised to 1.3 if your problem is exactly similar uh, you will get 0 to 1 dx by uh, limit as 1 and it converges if you apply the test you can easily solve this and uh, I solve some more examples in the next period uh, if you have any difficulties you can uh, always you can ask yes thank you